small milk plant operation. Milk processing. Office of Education and the Sanitary Engineering Division, U.S. Public Health Service. Everybody's involved in this crap, holy crap. Very, very formal. Milk, an important food for the health of the nation. Pasteurized milk, a safe food, trusted by millions of people and important in every diet of special importance to children and invalids. It's actually not For that all important these people, when it comes down pasteurization to it. It's not natural to drink milk after of childhood. Safety. But, you know, whatever. There is no such thing as partly safe milk. For milk is either pasteurized or it isn't. Pasteurization is a scientific job, a responsible job, and extends directly to I men... I actually had a milkman growing up. No. Men to whom they entrust their health. Milk plant operators. What what did you do to him? Removed and Perhaps you were out of a his small delivery like jurisdiction. This. The building is well built and kept in good repair. Oh. Is he like a cat? Besides do they follow you to your new home? Rooms, this plant has three I rooms wish. for handling milk and milk containers. The receiving room. So the three the front rooms, rooms are where milk is made. The but the back room. room on the other These side, rooms contain where equipment they make the fudge. especially designed to protect the milk from contamination. <laughs> the milk flows from the receiving vat to the Whoa, 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 slow down. You're really overloading me with information at this point. <laughs> After pasteurization, it goes through the pump. You didn't actually have to slow down, movie. You could. I was then kidding. Over the surface of the cooler to the filling machine. We're just pipe, just piping milk all over the, the place. The most important we? factor in producing pasteurized well, milk. This looks nothing like the, the care diagram. With which you handle it, the methods you use. The milk is delivered to the receiving room. Use of this room helps keep flies out of the rest of the plant. Of course, this room's just loaded with flies. Yeah, that's gross. Ew. At last we're alone. <laughs> Always keep the cover on the receiving vat, except when the vat is in use. I don't think all of Remember, that is milk. Remember, milk is food. Protect it. Your first responsibility is to make sure that all of the milk you receive is of high quality. He uses his, his, his keen sense of smell to figure out if it's actually good milk. I thought he was going to chug one of those. That would have been amazing. I find it hard to believe that in real life he'd be this slow. I mean, they'd never get anything done. A single can of poor milk may ruin the whole batch. An experienced operator can usually detect such milk by its odor. If you suspect that the milk is too warm, check it to be sure. Just gently caress the milk. He didn't, wa he didn't wash it before he put it in from the, the one bin to the other. It could be contaminated now. Or he could take that out and put in another one and contaminate that one. Oh, that's so gross. 79 degrees and off odor too. Rinse the thermometer and the stirring rod and return them to the sterilizing solution. Oh, see? Look, no, the sterilizing oh, okay. solution. Okay, it was okay. solution. Okay, it was cool. okay my really... mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But they still should be doing them in old milk jugs because you're just going to get... This is bound to get confused at some point. And... This rejection slip explains to the farmer the reason why his milk is being returned. This milk sucks. Take it back. You're still going to get many, many angry calls from him. Because milk people are freaking crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's a dead squirrel in this one. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yes, spilled it. Oh, jeez. When all the cans are you know, emptied, it's very possible that that was a perfectly on the milk good pump. container of milk, but they just needed an example of a bad one, and that guy got ripped off just back. for this documentary. Illuminati Be confirmed. Sure the inlet valve is open. Turn on the agitator and the water jacket circulator pump. Agitate, agitate, agitate. Always keep the vat cover closed during operation. So agitated right this now. This keeps the heat in and prevents dirt from getting into the milk. This pasteurization vat has three thermometers. On the left, an indicating thermometer. And Here, let me indicate an airspace for you. thermometer. And a recording thermometer and its chart. Whoa, whoa, it's, it's somewhere here. Oh, oh, there it is. I don't know how any of this crap works. The airspace heater assembly is made up of a steam strainer, a control valve, a condensation leg, with steam trap, an That's, auxiliary water trap. Oh, way trap, too complicated. <laughs> and a steam gauge. Well, you wanted this unit to get a... The flow of clean, well, dry steam to the inside of the pasteurizer. The agitator motor and shaft, as well as all other instruments and pipes, are connected to the vat cover in such a way that no dirt can get through the opening. Well, a little bit. You never want to have a dirty shaft. Good equipment, well cared for, helps you protect the milk from contamination. Let's see how this pasteurization vat operates. Yes, let's. The space between the insulated outer wall and the inner wall forms a water jacket. The space between... The water is heated by steam in a mixing valve just before it enters the vat. Water the water jacket is filled up to the overflow pipe. You don't have to show us every moment of every step, you know. The milk enters the vat through this inlet pipe. The vat is filled with milk to a level just below the level of the water in the jacket. This ensures that all of the milk will be heated. Get well, on with it! Where the hell is the agitator? It needs an agitator if it's going to... I'm just saying. If, want to evenly the heat, yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. The no, that's the just the thermometer, man. This thermometer is used to determine the exact the temperature of the milk. It must be accurate. What, you can't stir with the thermometer? The recording thermometer provides a permanent record of the temperature of the milk. It's bulb well, well, you could, but well you'd, have to, into the like, you'd have to be there doing it all the time. The agitator ah, stirs there we the go. milk so that it is heated evenly, and all of the bacteria are exposed to the pasteurizing temperature. Look at that technology. They just ripped it off a motorboat and stuck it in there. It really isn't agitating it that much. It's really quite small. <laughs> Through this airspace heater, clean, dry steam is forced into the space between the top of the milk and the cover of the vat. This makes sure that any foam or drops of milk which have splashed onto the cover or sides of the vat will also be heated to pasteurization temperature. It also waters down the milk a bit, doesn't it? Another thermometer called the airspace thermometer I don't think determines the temperature of this airspace. The bulb of this thermometer must not touch the milk. If it does, no. chaos will ensue. Uh, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. This outlet valve is placed on the side of the vat so close that the stirring action of the agitator reaches even the milk in the outlet Don't pocket. stir, don't stir so close to me. Stirring action. The outlet valve is a leak protector type. If the valve is loose, worn, or scored, unpasteurized milk may seep between the plug and the inner wall of the valve. To prevent this unpasteurized milk from getting into the outlet pipe, grooves on the inside wall of the valve catch the milk 
and bring it out through the bottom of the valve. Making a mess all over the floor. Yes, we get the idea. Okay. This type of valve prevents raw or partially pasteurized milk from contaminating the outlet pipeline when the valve is closed. As the milk runs into the pasteurizer, turn on the steam to the jacket which is already full of water. And then, turn on the airspace heater. Is that like a helicopter hovering over the shot or something? <laughs> this should be on during the entire filling time to keep the air above the milk in the vat at least five degrees above the milk temperature. Oh, it landed. <laughs> When the vat is full of milk, turn off the inlet valve. This valve, like the outlet valve, is a leak protector type. It prevents raw milk from leaking into the vat during pasteurization. He's should, he should really be washing his hands more. I'm, I'm, I'm when just the saying. indicating thermometer shows that the milk has almost reached pasteurization milk, raw, temperature, and uncut. turn off the steam to the jacket to prevent the milk from becoming overheated. Pasteurization begins when the temperature of the milk reaches 143 degrees, not Holy one crap, second before. Milk. This is the lowest temperature which, if held for 30 minutes, will kill all of the diseased germs which might be in the well, milk. Well, most of them. The steam supply to the airspace heater is adjusted so that the airspace temperature is at least 148 degrees during the entire pasteurization holding time. Uh, this is important well, test, because tests milk have must shown take like, that 148 uh, degrees according to this would is take the like lowest three years. airspace <laughs> temperature which will heat all foam and drops of milk on the cover so inside off. of the vat to at least 143 degrees. Very serious about their milk. Is that why it's so expensive? <laughs> it's complicated, When the milk man. reaches pasteurization temperature, turn off the water jacket circulating pump, but leave the agitator more, on during the entire pasteurization gasoline. holding time. Remember that the indicating thermometer gives you the accurate milk temperature. But, to be sure the recording thermometer is also accurate, compare it with the indicating thermometer once during pasteurization, usually after the milk has been at pasteurizing temperature for about 10 minutes. Okay, God! Write the indicating thermometer temperature on the recording chart as a permanent record. If there is a difference between the two readings, the recording thermometer should be adjusted before it is used again. Other important facts are entered on the chart. Ah, wow, you only use one chart per thing, man. Talk about waste. The airspace temperature is sometimes added. If anything unusual happens, such as a power failure, make a note of it on the back of the chart. Charlie pooped in the vat again. As pasteurization I'll be fine to pasteurize it again. <laughs> frequently check the indicating thermometer. We're making chocolate milk and today. And the airspace thermometer. <laughs> if they show the temperatures of the I thought you said vat again. Are too low I was like, wait, now, high, why did he go to the vat again? To maintain correct you said vat again. Pasteurization requires time as well as temperature. You know, I just noticed uh, uh, he's, he's touching like the steam valves at 143 with like degrees bare or more. hands. They, they, it is now pasteurized. All disease bacteria have been killed. Those are some calloused hands. It is safe milk. From now on, great care must be taken it's been working to prevent the tree years. Turn off the steam to the jacket and to the airspace heater. Milk is my life now. Turn on the cold water to the jacket to start cooling the milk. The cold water enters here, mixes with the water in the jacket, and runs out through this overflow pipe. This is this more, supposed to be more of an informational film rather than, you know, a step-by-step, -step, you know, this is how you freaking do it process. Yeah, this is an information, this is training for the job. Turn on the water jacket circulating pump. I think after watching this, we are going to be completely qualified to do this. The recording thermometer chart records the prompt cooling of the milk in the vat. You know, in the, the 30s. the 30 minute holding time, the pen arm drops as the temperature Four, of the milk is lowered by the cold water in the vat. 
Some for better or worse. Plants, the milk is not cooled in the vat. In such cases, the recording thermometer continues to show the milk at pasteurizing temperature during the additional time it takes to empty the vat and oh, expose crap, all over the, the thermometer again. bulb. And the chart dissolves to the same damn scene. Plus the emptying time. Okay, at this point you're just milking it. Used, the milk must be kept in the vat a full 30 minutes at at least 143 degrees before the outlet valve I feel is like open. Like I'm being whitewashed. When the milk has been cooled to about 120 degrees about as low as cold water will cool it. Open the outlet valve on the pasteurizer. Adjust the valve in the line. And turn on the pump. There's, there's way too much here for them to really clean these things, you know, very well. I'm, I'm just saying. The milk flows from the pasteurization vat to the pump. We, we we just saw him do this. We don't valve. need more. Oh. And then there's going to be an animation. And on to the cooler. The cooler is always kept covered while in use. He's covered cool, These man. covers fit tightly at the side. They overlap at the top and cover the collection trough at the bottom. The covers prevent contamination of the pasteurized milk by accidental coughing, sneezing, or flies and dust. Or pooping. She didn't say pooping. This cooler is built so in I think two pooping's separate allowed. Sections. Cold water well, circulates see, that's going to be the problem. Uh, they have to spot these things. The, bottom. the ends of the coils, called headers, are specially constructed so that moisture condensing on their cold surfaces cannot drip into the milk. The space between the headers is well over one quarter inch. Do we really need to know this part? I mean... The the bottom of the even if we were like being so trained will not trip into the milk to do this, trough. why would we need to know absolutely every technical aspect about how every tiny thing actually functions? You would just hire someone to fix this As shit. As milk it flows in a thin film over the cooler, it is chilled to well below 50 degrees. Prompt cooling is oh my God, it's open air. because it prevents the growth of bacteria. Totally safe, that totally normal. So cover, wrong. While milk is being cooled. Okay, they put a cover on it, but still, man. Just... I think that was just for the milk you know, flows from educational the purpose. To the bottle filler. <laughs> the supply pipe has a shield. That would be kind of cool if they made that cover on the cold you know, pipe from running down into clear, the milk so you in the could bowl see the, the dripping milk in there. Always that'd keep be kind the sight hole covered while the filler is in use. The filler valves are also protected by diverting aprons to prevent condensation from falling into the milk bottle. Five days later. Be sure your hands are clean before you handle bottles. He's only cans. washed his hands this once this whole freaking time, hasn't he? located it? conveniently in the pasteurization room and has hot and cold water, soap, and sanitary towels. Hot and cold water? Wow. Bottle caps are only uses one paper towel, cabinet, really. Which protects them from flies. And look and at all he's touching. He, his hands are no longer sanitary. In loading the capper, trip it to discard That's the first before cap. they invented gloves. This cap has been exposed and may not be perfectly clean. So it may not be perfectly Next, clean. Load the hooding But machine. you just touched it, but you don't have to wash your hands again. Nope. Quick, load the milk cannon. That would be a fun thing to build, actually. Now turn on the filling and hooding machine again, switches and begin bottling. Clean bottles, bottles. Green <laughs> bottles are kept inverted until they are used to prevent dirt from falling into them. Never touch the lip or inside of clean bottles with your fingers. Always give the bottle. You can a quick touch it with your tongue. For cracks, chips, or dirt. <laughs> or anything else you might like. That's not milk, dude. <laughs> oh, 
Man, that squirrel crushed up good. A mechanical capper makes it unnecessary to handle the caps by hand. Hoods like these are one way of protecting the pouring lip of the bottle from dirt. I don't think Inspect I ever want to drink milk sure again. It is properly filled, capped, and that the bottle is not chipped or dirty. I haven't had milk Reject in a while. Reject bottles that are not completely some. filled or are imperfectly capped. Since you always contaminate the bottles when you remove the cap, pour the milk into a can for reprocessing. You, you have the milk for pre-processing next to the freaking waste paper basket. It's fine. They're just going to boil it again. It'll be good. Don't worry. Yeah, but is it being, you know, uh, is it at a safe temperature? Why is it in the open air? Use of a dolly keeps the cases off. Well, that's oh, why they're going to take it back to the, the room and room the guy's room room going to sniff it again to make sure it's okay. It's fine. He's an expert. The temperature of the milk must not be allowed to rise above 50 degrees at any time after pasteurization if the growth of bacteria is to be prevented. In there, that'll Except keep it in cold. Very cold weather, ice the milk before delivering it to the customer. This milk has been pasteurized, cooled. I do like that each of the a block cap. of icing in the back of its truck. You have taken great care to protect it against every possibility of contamination. You have the no, You no, have the satisfaction of knowing that you did your job well. No, you no, you didn't. You can send this milk from your plant with the knowledge that it is safe milk. Bring back the fridges! Oh, that's it. Milk. Can we can we um watch a documentary about the bottling of authentic Bulgarian Miak? <laughs> Sadly, I don't think they ever documented the the bottling of Miak. No. Oh God. 